Number one in the morning's King 5 News starts now. Good morning, everyone. It is King 5 Children's Health Link is coming up next. And there's encouraging news for parents who, with children who have sleep apnea. See how a new device is giving them a good night's rest. From toddlers to teens, many kids are missing out on a good night's sleep, and that could lead to long-term health problems. Now more families are turning to a sleep device designed to help children wake up feeling rested. Jean Anderson has more in today's King 5 Children's Health Link. Ten-year-old Jacob has energy to play now. His mother said it's been a long time since he's felt this way. He was the child that no matter how long he slept, he never looked rested. For the past three years, trouble with sleep had worn him down. Even this one time, I couldn't fall asleep till 7 in the morning. It was just horrible. Jacob was missing school and having trouble learning. No surprise to Dr. Maida Chen. She's associate director of Seattle Children's Hospital's Sleep Disorder Center. Long-term sleep deprivation, at least from things like obstructive sleep apnea, leads to long-term um, problems with school, problems with behavior. A lot of these children end up being labeled as having ADHD and don't necessarily have it. Jacob had sleep apnea. His breathing often paused during the night. Surgery to remove tonsils and adenoids can correct the problem, but it hadn't worked for him. Going like this. So Dr. Chen prescribed this machine. It provides continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP, through a mask while Jacob sleeps. First thing happened was I fell asleep easy, and the next day I just jumped right out of bed. That was two months ago. Jacob continues to sleep soundly, and he's not alone. We have hundreds of children through our clinic that are using CPAP in the community with a lot of derived daytime benefit. She said sleep apnea is more common in kids who are overweight. I think children who don't sleep well probably have less energy and are less inclined to go out and play and exercise the next day. Jacob has shed some extra pounds now, and with a good night's sleep, he's also doing better in school. It's a lot like when I was younger, actually. I was full of energy then, and now... It feels a lot like that now. Warning signs of sleep apnea include snoring, mouth breathing, and gasping for breath during sleep. A child might have daytime sleepiness, too, or problems paying attention. If you're concerned, check with your pediatrician. For King 5 Children's Health Link, I'm Jean Anderson, linking you with better health. Well, other things that help a child get better sleep include regular bedtimes and wake times. Also, a quiet sleep environment that's not too hot or too cold can make a difference. You can...